Victor's memorial service on days of our lives has come and gone, and while it wasn't a large gathering, it was sad. We received a few unexpected returns, but there were still so many we didn't get to see but were still waiting for right up to the end. But who knows? Perhaps like Vivian's late entrance, they'll show up after the burial. Ciara, on the other hand, is someone we don't expect to see again. And there's a good reason behind it. Bo and Hope were simple to explain away, given that he is still in a coma, and she refuses to leave his side. Ciara, on the other hand, her doctor had just warned us that she shouldn't travel this far into her pregnancy. It made sense. Yet it's something we could have easily overlooked if we'd gotten her back. And we almost had Ciara back, but that opportunity passed us by. In reality, her scenes were scheduled to go to her sister before Chelsea got home. When a fan pointed out on Twitter that Chelsea's remarks regarding Bo's struggle with his Kyriakis and Brady personalities occurred before she arrived, former Days of Our Lives writer Jamie Giddens jumped in to explain that Chelsea wasn't supposed to give that eulogy. Chelsea's lines were written specifically for Ciara, he said. Victoria Conifal, on the other hand, had a scheduling conflict, so Chelsea was substituted with a few quick changes. It's also the reason Alex started the show. It was meant to be a hint to Sin when Sierra met her cousin Alex. It's strange to consider that Ben and Sierra both returned momentarily during Bo's resurrection, yet she and Alex never met. And they are indeed cousins. It's probably why, at the start of the episode, Alex addressed Chelsea as Bo's second daughter, the one who isn't Sierra. Theresa started ragging on Ben for killing her niece, causing Sarah to defend her husband, saying Ben wasn't that person anymore. Giddens reported in another tweet, keep a wink-wink nudge-nudge glance between Alex and Sierra. And of course, this brings to mind another familial connection we may have forgotten about, but since Eve is Theresa's sister, Paige was her niece. In the end, Chelsea talking about her father's battle shouldn't have been surprising. Sean could have spoken about it directly, but his struggle with guilt over Victor's death was the reason he wasn't up there. He was so overcome with it that he considered suicide. It made sense for him not to speak at the funeral. I think Rachel Melvin came in and did a phenomenal job, Giddens tweeted. It was impossible to please everyone. Of course, John, Victor, Nicole, and others should have been there. But we only have 12 or so characters per episode and a limited number of sets. Sometimes, no matter how much people wish they could, things just don't work out. And while we didn't get Sarah or that sin wink due to a schedule conflict, Melvin did give us the opportunity to check up with Chelsea for the first time in 14 years. Thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe to our channel, Daily Bulletin News, and stay with us.